Jurassic here. So today we are going to go watch the new Pokemon movie. And um, apparently this movie is only showing four days. I think it already showed on November 5th and 6th. And today is the third day. They're showing again on November 14th. And that's the last day. Only select theaters are playing it. And even those theaters are only playing maybe once or twice a day. But anyway. Last day, Curry, we were, we're so busy. We're going to miss our I know. I line. wanted to show you guys how busy this theater is. Okay. We're here <laughs> at 11. 40 our movie is at 12 55 because we were worried that we were not going to get our seats and everything and parking and everything and look what happened so busy ah! <laughs> i do not want to wait in that line no by the way here's today's crew we have ryan the usual they expect me you don't have to say are you are you gonna peep are you, are you oh that way you're gonna peep that way <laughs> hi here's jenny and here is steph hi. Some of you guys might remember her from my another anime con um, vlog from, was it last year? I think yeah, something yeah, like yeah. that. Yeah. So we're going to watch this movie. And hopefully the theater is open because right now it kind of looks closed. <laughs> and I just noticed there is an apple on the eye. Are they trying, are they trying to rip off Mac? <laughs> apple. It used to be whole, but I took a bite. I knew it. So it's been hours since the movie ended and um, after the movie I came home and um, I dropped off my sister and her friend off Stephanie off at the house and then I hung out with Ryan a little bit and then after a few hours Ryan and I came back home to have dinner and then we went out again. It was um, a busy day but it was really fun especially for Pokemon movie. Oh my goodness like I was I'm so sad that I did not get to vlog inside the theater. I didn't want to like, I mean, even Jenny, like sitting next to me was like, oh, I think you should vlog this moment. But I didn't want to like vlog it just in case I might, you know, infringe, infringe any copyright. But um, it was so funny because like the movie started playing, they had the intro story. And then, you know, of course they had the Pokemon theme song. And as soon as the Pokemon theme song came on, like I think everybody in the theater started singing. Like they were like, oh my gosh, we don't want to be like, I think in their head, like they were all thinking, oh my gosh, I don't want to be rude and sing out loud, but I really want to sing. So everybody was like whisper singing, like I want to be the very best. Like, no one ever was, right? And then like, when it got to the part where it was like, Pokemon, everybody was like, Pokemon, gotta catch them all. And it just became so clear that everybody, everybody was singing. And it was just like such a precious moment. I was like, oh, everybody is so cute. And of course, along with everybody else, was me and Ryan singing the theme song as well. <laughs> it was so cute, it was so precious. I think that's gonna be one of my favorite moments from a movie theater um, ever. I don't think I will ever forget that moment. It's just, uh, it was so amazing. Now I'm back home. My day was not really adventurous aside from the Pokemon movie. And um, I was really tired for the most part, so I didn't vlog. However, um, in the comments, I've been getting a lot of comments about my hair care and my skin care. I actually don't do that much. I'm a type of person that if I find a good product that works for me, I just stick with it. And I don't really spend money on um, different products. Like for my makeup, I, pr I only wear lotion. I know I should probably wear um, sunscreen and everything, but I don't really go outside that much. So I only wear lotion for my skin. And if I really, really, really want to glam up, then I wear um bb cream and stuff like that but like that's it and then i wear my eyeliner um my brows and my lips and that's pretty much it but since you guys were wondering i will show you guys the products i use at night and during the day and stuff um but because i am about to get ready for bed i'm going to go ahead and take you guys into the bathroom and show you the embarrassing process of me taking off the makeup don't judge right you won't right I trust you guys. Just a quick disclaimer. Um, I've never really had skin problem. I would have zits here and there whenever, you know, it's that time of the month. I know. Unfortunately, it's something that all the girls go through. So yeah, unless it's like that time of the month or unless I'm like super stressed or unless I'm eating unhealthy crazily, um, I don't really get a lot of pimples. But I have a zit right here. And my skin, even though I have like, you know, different complexion, I have, have like redder complexion here than here and I do have some freckles I don't know if it shows but other than that um yeah 
<laughs> I think it really like I think I just got really lucky with finding the skincare routine that works for me, which is actually not much. Any poo, gonna wash my face off. Sorry I'm whispering guys, but um I don't wanna be rude and wake up Stephanie and Jenny. They are sleeping and this bed bathroom is between my room and then their um my sister's room. So if I talk loud, they will hear me and possibly might I might possibly wake them up. But um, this is what I do to clear the hair off of my face. I rarely wear my hair in a ponytail in my channel, so you guys are seeing this, seeing something that most people don't get to see. And then for my bangs, um, I think ever since the start of my channel, I always have my bangs. So you guys are about to see how little of eyebrows I have. I have such little eyebrows, which is kind of amusing to me because I have so much hair, right? I have a lot of hair, but I have no eyebrows. So I usually just gather, <laughs> gather it together like this. I just need to get it out of my face. So twist it and then I have this alligator clip. Ta-da! <laughs> Cotton swab, Neutrogena, oil-free eye makeup remover, not sponsored. Any of these, not sponsored. And when I remove my makeup, I don't rub. I usually just put, pat it, um, put the pad just like right over my eye after I soak it with the remover and just hold it there for a bit so that it um, breaks down the eyeliner. And then gently, like don't tug it because I don't want to have wrinkles. <laughs> So I just um, take my time taking my makeup off. Absolutely no tugging. And if you did it under your eye and you feel like you need to um, clean it, just use a Q-tip then rather than tugging your eye. Because um, like I said, you're going to get wrinkles. And even though you're young right now, like that was a mistake I made when I was young. Like I was like in my 20s, I was like, oh, like I'm, I'm in my young 20s. I'm going to have youthful skin. I was branded with really you know nice skin nope you will pay for it at the end <laughs> like i feel i never used to have freckles too and i started getting these because um i wasn't wearing enough like lotion and stuff like that um or sunscreen so all these little things actually do matter take it from me now for the second eye all right my eye makeup is removed I don't really remove these separately. I just um, wash it off. For my face wash, I use CeraVe Hydrating Facial Cleanser. So this is the one I use. It's really cheap. And it's like really hydrating. It's, yeah, it doesn't really feel like it pulls my skin or anything, so. Benefit Moisture Triple Performing Facial Emulsion. Why are these cosmetic stuff always have the most complicated names? And now I am bed ready. <laughs> oh, this is it. Mm. Anyway, um, actually I lied. I need to put in my Invisalign, but I do that right before I go to sleep. Um, I am actually, oh my goodness, I totally forgot. I am actually getting a new set of Invisalign. I don't know how many trays I'm going to get, but I'm getting a new set of Invisalign this coming Monday. So starting Monday, I'm going to have my lisp all over again. So my last set of Invisalign, I had a total of um, 12 trays. I don't know if you guys have been watching me long enough, but I used to have really crooked um, teeth in the front. But um, it's gotten a lot better, but it's not where I would like like it to be and basically I paid one time fee and it covers um, all of the you know procedures like as like if if I want to edit anything into my teeth or you know do you know what I mean like it it doesn't add like cosmetic things but anything that is pertained to Invisalign it covers the, the cost of it so um, I wasn't really happy with the result I mean, I'm happy with it, but I wasn't, it's not how I would like it to be. So I asked them to make some um, changes because I don't know, is it this one? Yeah, I don't know if you can tell, but there's a gap right there, which I didn't have that gap before, um, which I 
don't think it's a big problem because it was Invisalign that shifted my teeth and gave me a gap right there. So I know that Invisalign will be able to fix it. So um, I got, I'm getting new set of Invisalign um, this Monday. I don't know how many trays I'm going to get, so I'm a little nervous. Some people told me that Invisalign um, lisp will go away within like two weeks. That wasn't the case for me because I had a lisp throughout the whole entire time I was wearing Invisalign for the past six months. So yeah, I will have to deal with lisp all over again, but like the past three weeks because I was on the last tray um, and I was done with my last tray for the first set, all I had to do was just wear the Invisalign at night when I go to bed, um, which is why you guys can hear me talk clearly now, but you guys will hear me not so clearly for the next I don't know however many weeks long after I get the trace <laughs> hopefully I don't have to do this for too much longer any poo I'm gonna go to bed and I guess I'll check back in with you guys tomorrow if there's anything fun all right so today is a different day and um, I actually got out of shower like five minutes ago just put on some comfy t-shirts um, because I'm going to be working too but I thought I would show you my um, hair care and like my morning product after shower um, for my face and yeah decided i should do that <sighs> sorry about my turban face but anyway let me show you the things of course these are wet right now because um like i said i just got out of shower not so long ago but my staple um hair shampoo hair shampoo like you would use shampoo anywhere else but um shampoo always has been head and shoulders dry scalp care with almond oil this is the one um almond oil from what i know is like really great for your hair so this is the one i use um it's kind of like really embarrassing to talk about but you know what but now I'm not really afraid to talk about it because I know a lot of people deal with it and I actually don't deal with it anymore. I don't have it anymore. And this has this was like my phenomenal solution. So when I was in middle school, back long time ago, I was in middle school long, long time ago, as most of you guys know, um, I had some dandruff. Um, and like I tried out so many different shampoos and none of them really worked until I found this head and shoulders Back then I didn't use um, the dry scalp care with almond oil I don't even think they had this um, this kind um, But I just used the regular head and shoulders um, shampoo and that worked phenomenally for me even though like other ones that say you know the end of care like they never worked and then I found this one with almond oil and then like that's when I fell in love with um, head and shoulders all over again because like I used it and then you know I got rid of my dandruff so like I used something else and then I was like you know what this one has almond oil on it so let me try it out and then that's when I fell in love with this product again and ever since then I've been just using it even though I don't have to deal with dandruff problem anymore um, so this is my shampoo wow that was a long talk um, and then for my conditioner um, I used several different conditioners and none of them really did what they said they would do like they yeah they did feel really conditioned and everything like during the shower but after the shower I felt like my hair was still really frizzy and everything um, until I found this one this one is from Lush um, and it's called American Cream and it's a conditioner this one um, it's really expensive though I think this bottle itself is like $28 almost $30 and if depending on where you are you might have to pay tax and it might get even more expensive than that too if you have to pay tax fortunately I live in New Hampshire so I don't have to pay, pay sales tax on you know the things I buy um, but yeah American cream is the conditioner that like really calmed my hair down and ever since I started using this um, it's been working phenomenally for me like before that I actually used to use apple cider vinegar rinsing which worked wonderfully like seriously if you're under budget and you are willing to deal with the scent of apple cider vinegar for like I don't know maybe like the first 30 minutes of washing your hair sure like it's 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 great but for me I just kind of tired got tired of um the apple cider vinegar scent and like I don't know people didn't smell it on me they didn't smell it on me but because I was using apple cider vinegar like I guess in my head I was like playing mind games I don't know my mind was playing tricks on me so I felt like I was constantly smelling apple cider vinegar on me even though people were telling me that they don't smell anything um so I switched to this product I was I tried out different ones but this one is the one that really helped my um, hair to stay calm and um, really moisturized um, this is the conditioner I swear by 
Um, if you're going to get anything from Lush, get this one and then the other one that I'm going to show you. Um, like I said, it's not really cheap, but for me, it's worth it. The conditioner, I mean, the shampoo itself is not very expensive, this one. So like I kind of like, you know, balance it, I guess, with these two. Um, also for me, like I showed you earlier and I like I told you before, I don't really use a lot of products makeup products and beauty products. So I think I can kind of justify my spending on this because I don't use too many products, right? So if I'm gonna use one, use one really good one instead of using like five, six different mediocre products. And then for my skin, after I shower, I use this one. Let me just clean up the label a little bit because it's like, it looks kind of messy and dirty. But um, this is another Lush product and it's been my staple product for years now um this one is lush herbalism face and body cleanser and it's just a very gentle um what is a scrub exfoliator so i use this right after i get out from shower of course i can use it in shower but i like having a mirror in front of me so um you can use this on your body you can use it on your face and everything but i use it on my face so after shower i would you know put my hair in a turban and then i would do i would use this um, to gently scrub, you know, like the dead skin off my um, face and everything. And then I will put the same lotion that I showed you, this one, which is Moisturizer, uh, Moisturized Triple Performing Face Emulsion from Benefit. This is the one I use. Um, and then after it's all in, on my skin and soaked, soaked? What, what's the right word? Uh, I, I don't, anyway, but after I moisturize my skin, then that's when I actually go in and do my makeup, which is just my eyeliner and then my eyebrows on some occasions, um, BB cream and then lip tint. So yeah, that's pretty much it. This is how herbalism looks. It's just um, like this. So yep, this is the one that I use. Again, because it's lush, it's not too, it, um, not too cheap. However, like I said, I don't have too many products that I'm using. So this is my staple product those two on average because i have such long hair i think i go through about three bottles of american cream conditioner every two months so yeah every two months like every month i go through maybe a bottle and a half and then for herbalism this thing lasts quite a while i don't know when i bought this but it's been a really long time since i bought this one and i still have uh, about quarter of a product left so yeah those are all of the um, skin products and my hair products that I use. So for those of you who has asked me about which products I use to take care of my hair and my face, you got your answers. What's the point of showing you the product if I'm not going to show you me actually using it, right? This actually a little bit goes a long way, but I tend to just be kind of generous <laughs> with the amount of um, herbalism exfoliator I use on my face. Yeah, you don't even have to use this much, but I actually like using it because I feel like I'm pampering myself. I always find that after the reason why I use herbalism um, before I do makeup, most of the time if I don't wear makeup, I don't even have to do herbalism. Um, I don't even use herbalism. But I don't use herbalism every time I'm actually planning on doing makeup. I just feel like it applies more smoothly, especially if I'm going to wear BB cream. Today I'm not going to, but and honestly, I used to deal with like you know white flaky skin when I was young, um, mainly because I didn't know how to take care of my skin. Um, but finding this one was a was a solution for me. <laughs> oh, and another thing, I used to use air hair brush like this. And I don't use it anymore because I just find that it tangles my hair way too much. Even though it takes longer time, I just use more tooth comb and it works wonderfully. To get to this state on my hair took a long time and look, I mean, like, of course, like you're not gonna have smooth textured hair. I don't think I do perfectly, to be honest with you. I think I'm still in the process, but um, you're not gonna have like really nice hair like the first time you use um american cream like two, i think i used it for like the two months i think two months is like the, the trial product for i mean period for anything that you use new i mean of course like if you have like allergic reaction or if your skin is acting out 
stop immediately but i feel like if you're trying out a new product like you always need to give at least a month or two to see if it actually works for you or not and after two months i was really happy with um what american cream was doing to my hair so ever since then it's been a staple for me and i don't necessarily blow dry all my hair but i always blow dry at least my bangs While I um, let the rest of my hair air dry, I'm going to be recording a gaming video. Um, today, I am going to go on a toy hunt, but it's probably going to be a really short toy hunt. And just like quickly look around and I want to look at some holiday stuff. And then I need to go to Staples to buy some box set and everything. I do plan on making the announcement on my, you know, main channels really soon. But because you guys are here, I'll briefly talk about it. I'm going to be moving out. I've moved into my parents' house around towards the end of 2013 because I was actually living overseas, working overseas and everything. And then I moved back here because of my um, family, uh, my dad's health issue, and I just wanted to be close to him. I mean, he's totally fine, guys. You don't, you guys don't have to worry about it. It was a false alarm, but at the time, it was really devastating. And at the time, like, I lost my grandfather while I was working overseas, and I couldn't even come to his funeral, and that. Um, was really devastating for me so like when I heard that my dad wasn't feeling well and there is a possibility that it was a serious condition I um, just you know made the decision to move back home to take care of my family and everything and to be near them and everything he's fine like I said um, so I've been contemplating on the idea of moving back out and finding my own place and everything but it was like there was no reason for me to do that because we have a pretty good sized home and if I moved out um, this room will be empty and nobody will really occupy it anyway so what was the point point? and I actually gave, give them rent so <laughs> it's not like I lived here for free however um, I've been just tossing around different ideas and I think um, I'm at a position, mental position where I kind of need to move out to be more productive and to take care of myself better and honestly, I operate better when I have my own space so I think it's time for me to move out I'm going to move into an apartment I already applied and I got accepted and everything um, so in about a month, I'm going to be moving into my new apartment and just so you guys know, um, I know some people will be asking I'm not moving in with moving in with Ryan I know some people will be like well but think about all the money you'll be saving on rent and everything but honestly I've always been the person that was kind of like old-fashioned in that sense um, and I honestly do not want to move in unless I'm married to the person so I'm not moving in but we will be very close I'm actually moving to his apartment complex so we'll be just a few buildings away from each other so we'll be able to spend time together but then when I need to be productive and I need to have my own space and everything I'll be able to have my own space so yeah with that being said um, because of that I won't be making a lot of toy purchases because I actually need to box everything up some people might be like oh you have a month that's a lot of time actually I am going to be leaving um, in the beginning of December for a week trip um, to Colorado to visit Ryan's family with him and then also I have few other plans coming up really soon so I don't know how much time I will have so I want to start um, boxing everything up as much as possible so I want to go to Staples and find some boxes so that I can start boxing some of the things up that also means that um, I'm going to be selling my doubles it's something that I've been thinking about i'm also actually looking into a local flea market to see if i can just vend there for like maybe a day or two to kind of downsize my collection and stuff like that i mean i'm not going to like downsize a lot but some of the duplicates i have and also um some of the items that i have grown out of i will could sell there i mean of course yard sale is an option but i don't feel safe doing a yard sale because this is not my house this is my family house and i don't want to invade my family's privacy by making our physical address public so i'm thinking um i've been looking into this flea market location in salem new hampshire and they seem to rent out both outdoor and indoor space but if i do um end up selling there probably will do indoors even though it, if it even though it will cost more um it's just i can't deal with coldness and it's been getting cold it's been getting really really cold so 
there's that. I don't know. Still kind of searching for the option, but I do need to um, really start thinking about what I'm going to do and start boxing things up and everything. I'm really excited though. Um, thinking about how I'm going to decorate the place and everything just gets me really excited. And I don't know. It's a, it's another um, big step. It's going to be another big change that's coming up in my life. And I'm really excited to kind of, you know, take you guys along and show you guys how my own place turns out to be and everything. But until then i'm going to have to hurt my noggins and think everything ahead of time and plan everything ahead of time and ah! <laughs>